Ross, I mean, we all remember the election campaign last year where Anthony Albanese put cost of living at centre stage of the campaign. He blamed Scott Morrison at that point. There was only one rate rise during the election campaign. We've had another 13 or, or 12 since then. But the point is, now it seems like monetary policy is doing all the heavy lifting. Fiscal policy, and you refer to wages growth there, seems to be at times working in a different direction. Yes, but you can start to see the panic is coming inside the government as well. And take, for example, the, the words by the Treasurer only in the past week that we may have to defer some infrastructure projects because that infrastructure uh, structure spending, in particular by state governments, not only are there being cost blowouts in most of the major projects around Australia, um, but also, on top of that, it's creating more inflation. It's actually taking up more jobs and the, the cost of materials are increased. I spoke with the boss of the Australia's largest brickmaker, Lindsay Partridge, earlier this year, he said he's struggling to get the materials to build the new airport in Sydney because, guess what, others who are also helping to build the, the new airport in Sydney are also competing for those very same products. So this is something that is economy-wide. This is something that is within the government's control. And the government, quite clearly, has got to be very careful of its own spending, of the wage rises that come through in the future, of its industrial mm. relations law changes, all of these things are themselves adding to inflation and therefore the pressure on Michelle Bullock to continue to raise interest rates. Yeah, I thought it was good today or last night in that speech that she actually had the courage to talk about homegrown inflation and not feel that she had to stick to this government message of pretending that the reason inflation is looking like it's getting entrenched is purely because of overseas factors. Ross Greenwood, thank you so much for your time. And you can catch Ross every day at 4.30 right before my program.